size matters. Just looking at the cover of Hollow Earth Expedition, I think most people get a very clear sense that varying sizes was a design consideration right from the very beginning, whether it be the digging machine, the dinosaurs, or the very, very tiny dinosaurs that someone might be trying to make away with. Looking at one of the sample archetypes, you see that size is the first entry in the secondary attributes, and that for the snooty professor, size equals zero. This is done on purpose. When playing a human character, to have a size that is not zero, you need to take giant, which if you take it, you'll receive a plus one size bonus. If you don't, your size, as you can see, is zero. This talent, like many others, affects one primary or secondary trait and has spillover effects into different aspects of your character. Now, specifically this, because your size is going up, your health and the maximum body and strength ratings will change, but you will be easier to hit for some things. Size has a lot of uses in the game, but of course, one of the reasons it will come up in a session is combat. Well, in many cases, it can be handled narratively, like your character is too big to fit in that very tiny car. Where it needs to be dealt with is in the comparative sizes of creatures. Now, as a human character interacting with larger or smaller creatures, there's really nothing that you have to do because the entire system is scaled around the size zero creature, the human. But when larger and smaller creatures start tangling with each other, well, then a little something has to be done. Now, basically, size works like this. See size zero running down the middle. That's your human. And if the human were being attacked by a size eight creature, that creature suffers a penalty of eight to hit the smaller target, the human. And again, if a size minus eight creature, a very, very small creature, were attacking the human, it would receive a bonus of eight to hit the much larger human creature. Very simple, very fast. The interaction of the various sizes gives you that feeling of the large, ponderous, slowly moving creatures or the tiny, zipping, fast creatures that you just can't hit. And it also makes these things harder or easier to kill. What all of this interacts with is the character's defense rating. And you can see here that defense, the normal defense, is calculated as passive defense plus active defense minus size. So for the human character, minus zero. Combat is conducted as an opposed role. The attacker's attack pool versus the defender's defense pool. So how that plays out is for the human-sized character, you simply take the defense score and the attack pools and you roll them. Size, in that case, being zero, doesn't matter. When creatures or vehicles of other sizes interact with each other, then these modifiers are needed. So, as you can see, it comes up in the game, but doesn't come up so often as to become a lot of math. So, in some kind of encounter where large creatures or objects are interacting with your player characters, everything has already been calculated for you. You just use the stats as they are provided in the text. Even if you do have to use modifiers, it's really easy, because the modifier is equivalent to the size of the creature. For example, the giant ape has a body of 8 and a dexterity of 4, which, if they were size 0, would give them a defensive score of 12. But as they are size 4, they have a defense score of 8. That score of 8 is what's printed in the rules. It may become necessary in a session, however, to have creatures or vehicles of different sizes going up against each other. This is all explained in this convenient black box on page 123 in Hex. You take 
the bonus that would be applied if the characters were or the creatures were larger take the bonus of the smaller creature and give it to both if they were smaller you take the penalty and you give it to both and you run the combat that way then it goes on to mention if the two creatures are the same size and if they're the same size you apply the bonus for that size to each creature this system is not just for creature combat this also applies to vehicular combat each vehicle laid out is also given a size as it is for the creatures so an apc is size two and this is the same size two as you might find for the triceratops which is size two they're relatively the same size but the t-rex at size four is you know seemingly heavier bulkier and meaner than the apc fair enough and it applies in combat the same way as it does between creatures unlike the other secondary characteristics size is not derived from the primary characteristics as such its function is to distinguish the difference between normal size zero creatures and everything else it will affect attack ratings it will affect defense ratings it will affect stealth ratings most importantly i suppose it affects the health rating of a creature or the structural rating of a vehicle larger things are harder to destroy smaller things are easier for large creatures this adds a bonus to their maximum body size their maximum strength size and increases their health rating by one for every point in size same with vehicles for smaller creatures however this is a penalty in some cases that penalty may mean a small creature you design will enter play with negative health levels this is nothing to worry about this just represents a smaller creature is easier to kill and damage is more significant to them a small box on page 47 explains the negative health effects or the negative health rules are not taken into consideration until the creature or vehicle is damaged at which point the full rules come into effect as normal this doesn't mean that they've been walking around wounded the whole time it does mean that they operate on a different and smaller scale they have fewer health levels a normal character might have five health levels and when taken down to zero starts taking serious damage when taken down to minus five will perish a much much smaller character or creature like a bat might only have one health level total this is represented by having a starting health of negative four no wound penalties until injured and then once injured expiring at minus five larger creatures and larger vehicles are easier to hit harder to kill smaller creatures and smaller vehicles harder to hit easier to kill so this concept of size allows the hex game master and players to easily scale any of the encounters you see on this cover rifle shots versus the drilling machine rifle shots versus the dinosaurs the defense by the pterosaurs carried out by the human shaman the attack of the allosaurs against the humans theoretically the attack by the small dinosaur against the much larger human characters all of these things can instantly be scaled just by virtue of knowing what its size is which you get from its stat block and knowing what its defense is which you also get in its stat block it's simply looking at a number and rolling your dice <laughs>